All right, we back. It's hindsight episode twelve. I think yes, yeah, twelve. And we just watched Drive My Car. Thoughts? <laughs> it was so sad. Oh my gosh. Uh, damn. That was really depressing. <laughs> 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 Yo. Oh man, if I feel like the the main guy, like he could have went for losing. Why? <laughs> Bro was taking nothing. It I, felt like he was taking nothing but L's. It was there were so many L's, and oh my god, I remember like studying Chekhov in college, and I wanted to hang myself because <laughs> all of Chekhov stuff is so like heavy and depressing. What is? I don't even know. What like. Anton Chekhov, he's a, he was a playwright like way, way back in the day. Yeah. And the stuff that you saw like on stage, like they were performing Chekhov's work. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I and I was like, oh my God, uh, this is so depressing. She was having flashbacks. I did, like having to memorize scripts and stuff. I have re- I read Waiting for Godot. That was like in the, the beginning of the film. Mm-hmm. Fucking sad and depressing. Morning. All of those that they were reading were, were him. Yeah. Oh, I thought he wrote those. I was okay. It uh, was like, FYI, well, I guys, well, that was I a Japanese know. film. I, in case we didn't well, mention I don't that. Know. Hold on, well, I don't know, like if if, if it were um, like the Uncle Vanya. I don't know if that's Chekhov, but it's, it's based on Chekhov's like how he writes. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. but I know in the very beginning. I have no idea. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Again, the film's in Japanese, so get ready to be doing some mental translation. A lot of reading. Yeah, I did. Yeah, that was the thing. <laughs> that was the thing for sure. But like, at first, I was like, "What kind of film did you take me to?" Also, it was nothing but fucking. <laughs> it wasn't nothing but fucking. Yes, it, it just was. played a big part in the movie. Yes, I did not think that. Th- I didn't know it was gonna be like that. Oh, that poor guy. Sad. <laughs> Especially like the the sex stories part, that was kind of sad too. Like I didn't know. Yeah. That. I, like, I don't know. It was it was kind of yeah. deep. And then old girl's mom had the had a, mental issue. Like I didn't even. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> it kept on unloading. It, just like, it, it was just death, death. Someone died. Oh my gosh, I'm a killer, but not really. <laughs> yeah, it was. I don't know. But it was like they were. It was like I don't know. Mm-hmm. It was a lot. It, it was layered. It was like thematic. You know what I mean? <laughs> It was like they were killers, and like that's almost how they bonded it because they both felt like they had killed somebody but they, important in their but life. They really did it. it was they just really like, didn't, but they did kind of with the way they went about it, was, it. You know what I mean? I guess so. It was just like, oh, it, I. It, it was about the guilt it. more than. How about that? Yeah, it was. Yeah, like maybe they it didn't was kill them. Major themes like guilt, self isolation. Oh, for sure. Um, what else? Like betrayal and what that means. I mean, to like um, each individual character acceptance you know acceptance i guess literally we could go a million ways with this it was good yeah. it was really it was like so many different story strains though i feel like yeah i will say i liked the story i liked it like the sadness didn't even bother me it was just like it was getting a little long is where yeah that's where they lost me but it was a good movie like, there were well some written, static though. shots that i didn't understand like why like why are we looking at this car for like three minutes <laughs> I also didn't, you know, I feel like they were trying to tell me something that was maybe too deep for me. But, like, I feel like I could follow when they were doing, like, the, like, it would be a long shot of them driving, then, oh, they came out the tunnel. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, yeah. I feel like they were trying to do a little bit, they were doing a lot of bit, actually, with those shots. It was beautifully shot, though. I love the coloring. I liked how it was, oh, you can tell, like, it was so isolated, it was so cold. Just visually how it was done like when they was in the snow and everything yeah but like not only well not only that it was like even when you thought there was gonna be a happier time it just throughout the whole entire film the way it was shot it was so isolating well i felt isolated when i was watching like is it like like, like, like because it was framed yeah it was like a sense of it created a sense of loneliness for each character like my that's my opinion no for sure for sure Especially my man, it was a Kafka, was his name, I was him. And, and yeah, our driver, yeah. and driver girl. Yeah, driver girl. She was cool. Yeah, she had a whole ass arc in there. Like, I really wasn't expecting the movie to be that much about her, and it yeah. kind of was a lot about her. At first, I was like, is this driver Miss Daisy, but in... <laughs> <laughs> she said it was Japanese-Korean, fucking Japanese sign language. Korean, 
sign language. That 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 went hard though. The Korean sign language. Yeah, I. Yeah. That was beautiful. There was a lot of like really quiet moments where she was signing. I was like wondering if they didn't have subtitles. Wait, is somebody supposed to just know? Right. Yeah, I don't even know what that means to this day. I don't know. <laughs> Hold out a pie, no. <laughs> you will learn sign language in this film if you pay attention and want to learn sign language. Korean sign language. You Korean. Be, you Hold up. There's a difference between American sign language and Korean sign language. Yeah. yeah I knew that. Mm-hmm. I and did just you know there's like, you. <laughs> bye. <laughs> and did you know like there's actually like black American sign language as well? Like we have our own. Blind language. language. <laughs> Run that. Anyway. So, nah, was, so those things I was doing in there, those actually are not American Sign Law. Okay, well I will yeah. be looking stupid if I do that in the streets. I guess yeah. I'll continue I mean to the do thumbs it. up those kind of dope though. Like, was... Speaking of Korean sign language. Oh yeah. I like the mix that they had in there. That was like I guess I don't see that in the films that often. Representation matters. It was really dope. It does. And I guess yeah, the fact that they had yeah. somebody there doing sign language period was like mm-hmm. shit I don't see frequently. Oh, it was so it was so well done. And it was really cute. It had a little twist. The deaf girl was the, uh, was that man's wife. You remember? Uh, yeah, but I don't remember that man. I, remember, <laughs> I don't remember his Potato name. head. We gonna call him potato nah, head. Nah, he, he had a black, he was, he, he was like a black head, but yeah. He's like, he's like a potato. But it was, that was pretty head. funny. I was like, damn. I should like this character. How you gonna talk about <laughs> your own husband? <laughs> Look like Mr. Potato Head. That was, that was love. That was love oh, at first sight. It was bonded. Maybe because she just loves potatoes and then saw his hands. <gasps> yeah! That was big lit. I like their scenes, cute. actually. Me too. Well, he could talk, he could talk, what? She was mute? Or what was her thing? I actually can't remember. Like, she, she could just hear. She could talk. She, she could just, hear. She was just mute yeah, then. She was mute. Mm-hmm. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Her character was tight. I thought that I would be annoyed by that, but I wasn't actually. I enjoyed what she was bringing to the table. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I like this so much. Because at first, you know, I was just like, oh shit, this is gonna be a whole lot of like long scenes of her signing, but I, I didn't actually Jeez. get annoyed by her sign, you know what I mean? I thought it was just so beautifully done. I was highly entertained by her signing. I thought Same. it was dope. And the way they like would like kind of do those shots where it was yeah. like shot at her, the person was like there, mm-hmm. somehow like in the foreground, kind of blurred out or something, yeah. not in focus, and then you would see her like really sign it, and I'd be like the focus. I don't know, I just like those it shots. It was so nice. It was so well done. I like that part. Let's see. Um, his wife, man, that was actually sad for me. I didn't, I didn't want to see it go down like that. I wanted him to just have that talk and it just be, you know, deep, intense, and emotional. But nah. it didn't go down that way. I didn't <laughs> see that coming. It was like, but it was so sudden too. It was like, yeah. So when you get back, can we have a, can we talk? And then he's like, yeah. And then he's driving all around the town. Yeah, I knew it was, was a setup or something. He was so scared to go back home. And then all of a sudden, bam! Funeral. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, yeah. literally, she came like, funeral. funeral. <laughs> that I was, was like, crazy. He came back home. Like, I was damn. like, oh, damn. <laughs> Dead. Because didn't they just, it was like, they, they, they had just done that scene with the, with the, was that with the daughter, yeah. It was like, we learned so much in that moment, and then boom, she dead too, it's like, like damn. damn. L's all around. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot. That was sad. And, and then, then how, what was there? How, right, the side, nigga, how you supposed there. to be there? <laughs> he was there looking. Looking like he was looking. <laughs> That was intense. I was surprised. Like, ain't nobody pop off. You can't do that in a black household. How you gonna have the side piece come to the funeral? Yo, he was in there bowing and shit too. Like, like oh, I'm sorry I'm for your so loss. Sorry like, for your loss. Like, wow. Yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. I'm about to two piece your ass. <laughs> oh, I thought it was gonna be confrontation I, in there. I was like, I was when so I seen him look weird. over, I was like, like oh. oh shit. <laughs> in fact, I thought that was gonna happen damn near every time. I These know. niggas cross paths. I was like, hands. hands. But it, it never, boom, it never hit. Right. It really never hit until that last moment when it was like, it wasn't even a really a conflict. It was like more a confession. Right? That was, yeah, that was really interesting too. But man, those monologues, I don't know, from my perspective, they killed those monologues. They believed every single word they said. I think the way that it was acted was beautifully crafted. 10 out of 10, in my opinion, was so gorgeous, so gorgeous to watch. And you could tell like the actors, it was like they were not acting. They were really 
dropped in and I, I love a be- beautifully crafted performance like that. Everybody was crying at some point. <laughs> Everyone was deeply depressed at some point. No, nah, that's for real. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's for real. It was... And they did a good job as actors acting too. I like to see that. Yeah. Like, I, I felt like I could feel their emotions. I could like read their emotions pretty well. It was considering they were all speaking in different languages mm-hmm. and shit too. Like, it, it, you know what I mean? I feel like that didn't really set me back that much. Right? I even felt bad for the side piece. Like, <laughs> We're like two seconds. I low key. I was like, ooh. When we was in the car. And then yeah. he was tearing up. I was like, like oh, oh no. Shit. Damn, bro. I. <laughs> because it, it almost mm-hmm. like it grabbed onto the same feeling I already had earlier mm-hmm. when she was smashing him and she was telling him the story. You know right. what I mean? Like, like yeah, nigga. Like, I, I saw you. I knew yeah, you came know. in. You know, know what I mean? And oh, I so and I was like sad as fuck, like damn. And then it made it more sense like later that mm-hmm. she doesn't remember the stories that she tells, so she mm-hmm. was like kind of confessing right there. And you know what's so sad? I'm like the wife didn't see anything sacred. Nothing was sacred. Like you, when you think about it, she's just telling these each nigga part of the story, like. That's, that's that's crazy, and then oh, oh I for- that's how they were dealing with their <laughs> grief. Then, you know what I mean? I forgot everything. I'm like. She dealing so with her grief. That, but see, that was right. the same. That's how like, uh, what was my girl driver's name? I don't even know. We're gonna call her Baby Driver. Baby so, Driver, got it. Baby <laughs> Driver and Kafka like were able to relate on that because like yeah. both of them seem to be dealing with somebody dealing with something out of the ordinary. You know right. what I mean? Like her mom, because like cause that was almost even like a parallel there. Like yeah. was his wife really on some weird shit or was she acting like she just forgot? You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. You know, she, I feel like she was lying. She lying. I, and you know, she what about trying. moms? Was mom lying? Nah, her I feel like she was, was really crazy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she legit had a split personality. Beating she, her own daughter me, up and I shit. I mean, bow, bow, me, me, me. I'm sorry, baby. I, that wasn't me. I can't walk. It, I, it wasn't me. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. <laughs> I killed my mother because I just watched the rocks fall. And That's then, like, at the end, when she, when she was holding bro, it looked like, you know, like, oh, man, it's just like my mom used to hold me. Like, you know. I know. And then you know what was so sad? He was like basically saying, if I was your daddy, I would have told you it's not your fault. But I can't. I don't think I just killed, killed my wife too. Yeah. So we the same fault. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Ain't like, uh, damn. Uh, <laughs> I know I thought that shit was about to go way different too. I, I saw it differently in my head. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was sad. <laughs> Oh my gosh. But it had like a positive ending vibe, you know? Like it didn't just like go to the dark side and stay there all the way. It did a little bit. I mean, wrong. but there was there was like no real resolution because when you think about grief and loss and death, the only thing you can do is just move on. You learn to live. You just learn to live, which was a very powerful lesson. Yeah, because yeah. 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 They didn't really get over it, man. And I like yeah. the ending. How it was almost like they were going through that internally. The monologue felt like it was always some type of internal mm-hmm. piece for all the characters. Yeah. Like, had to be reading the script, but it would be really relevant to what was actually <laughs> happening somehow in their life or their character's life. Like, yeah, that was so dope. I'm gonna be real. At first, I was very confused. Like, in the beginning, when he was just like driving around, I was like, okay, drive my car. Is this car is gonna be talking? Is this gonna have a sci fi thing? But then I realized it was the wife, like a little bit. Later. Oh, like when she was like, "Yeah, I actually didn't get that." Yeah, at first I didn't get it, yeah, and yeah. then moving like forward, just like a little bit after, I was like, "Oh, he's a, he's memorizing his lines." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, "Okay, yeah, that makes sense." <laughs> Yep, and then, you know, I, I thought it was cool that, like, you know, the girl was in the car, too, and she kind of yeah. re- slowly replaced his wife's voice in there talking. Yeah. Like, I thought that was darling. That was darling. And then his daughter would have been the same age as old girl, so it was like, man, that was a lot, a lot of elements in there. The parallel themes. Oh. Yeah, and then at, at one point, too, like, I know it's a cultural difference, too, but, like, at one point, I felt like they bonded over their habit of smoking. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that part was cool. Chain smoking. Yeah. No, they were. Oh, and they, that was a good scene, though, when they're, like, holding them out the yeah. window or out like, the sunroof. Yeah, the little bonding moment. I was that like, was with it. I like to see their relationship blossom. That was actually pretty fun. Did you catch when they he started sitting in the front seat? Yeah, that was, that was that was after the hug. Uh, that was they had been through some shit <laughs> at that point. She kind of knew what the fuck was up. Like, right. I just heard 
that you and your wife used to have sex and she would tell you stories about cheating and then she would fuck other niggas and tell them <laughs> different parts of the, <laughs> of the story. story. Yeah. And in the back seat is a nigga who was fucking your wife. Like, exactly. And y'all by talking about it right now, like, yeah, like, we cool now. It's like, okay. Oh, that's so much. That's yeah, that so was, much. it was like super tense and not tense at the same time. Cause like, it's like they were just yeah. speaking in riddle. But yeah. you knew. It's you like you knew what, the, what they were saying. Like, oh, God. And then even those the other layer where <laughs> bro probably knew, nigga, I'm done. You know what right. I mean? Like, I'm, yo, I got to talk to you tonight, nigga, because like, tomorrow, nigga, <laughs> it's game over for me. <laughs> what made me so mad is how cool he was when the cops came. It was yeah. like he got what he wanted. It was like, you know what I mean? He was like, yo, man, good job. It was like he had forgiven him. It he felt did. like in that moment he got his forgiveness at, at the same time the niggas walked in like, right. hey, nigga, you're done. You're done. <laughs> Your career's over, nigga. You're, you're a hoodlum. <laughs> yeah, remember that time you ran up on that boy? Nigga, you're done. He's you're dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was bonkers. And then he was so cool. He was such a G. He's like, yeah, I did it. I, did it. <laughs> I admit it. I admit and then, like, bros told tones with a cop was like, is he all right? Can I see him? <laughs> like, you. Can I see like, him? Like, nigga, we, we, that's then, my son now. Like, I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? That was so weird. <laughs> and then the lady, the, um, what, whoever the fuck, she was like, um, so we must talk about the play. But we still have to talk about yeah, it. Yeah, nigga. You have two days to figure it out. I know this man is in prison for life, but we got to figure out, like, do you want to do this or not? I was like, feeling it, and at the same time, I was like, lady, you being hella rude right she, now. Like, no emotion. Yeah. You can't give a fuck. Like, it is what it is. Oh, my yeah, God. You got two days. You, uh, you, this is how you got two you, days. You have it. two days. That's all we and have for you. You're, you're going to do it, or it's canceled. Or it's canceled. Like, what? What? Bitch, did you not just see I, what I was thinking maybe old girls from the step up like nigga I know the lines. <laughs> <laughs> you she didn't make your smoking. She was just smoking all that shit. That shit. Yeah, they ain't got shit to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was so crazy. <laughs> okay, oh also the cliffhanger at the end, it, it was like did he give her the car and drive my car? Was basically saying now she drives his car. But pause. What about the dog? Like the dog just randomly just that was. Up in the I end. mean, there had to be. I. I thought I missed something. I put it like that. Maybe she was like, I wish I always had a dog. Or they had some dog conversation. I just totally missed. But that felt a little bit weird because I will say nothing else felt like out of place. Like everything seemed to be. That's true. You know what I mean? Yeah, everything made place perfectly. Until... Yeah, except the dog. Yeah. I'm like, hold up. And I guess I, I feel like it was like an afterthought. Like, oh, we have to end it in a nice way. Or maybe that was her new friend because she said, you know, her mom oh, yeah, was her only friend she nah, ever had. Nah, the demon that was inside the mama. Was that her was friend. the ding dong. No, that was the goodness. She <laughs> oh, said that was the whatever. goodness condensed. What was the name? Sachi? Sachi. That was Sachi. Sachi. I thought she was going to call the dog Sachi. And I was like, oh. I thought so too. And, I was and like, then it was oh. like, no. No. Sachi. Yeah. We're and just then... going to go back to a shot of the road for a long time and play you. And then, oh yeah. And you called it that. He was like, oh. They got COVID over there too. <laughs> oh, with the mask? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my Speaking God. Speaking of that, yeah. I did like the movement of time in that movie. I feel like they yeah. were jumping. They was doing a lot of jumping, but it felt like the flow was still natural. Even though it's it like, nigga, sense. two weeks later, one year later, two, two years, years later. later. <laughs> I'm like, okay. Like, I don't know. It was good, though. It was like a good jump. I never felt like that was hella jarring or anything. Right. I was like, I feel it. I buy it. And then, but what was so, so weird to me is, okay, so back to like the dinner scene. I did, I couldn't tell if the girl, you know, baby driver, like hated the food, or like, she was she just like in another world. I thought she liked it. She just didn't know how to like express oh. herself. Like you know what I mean. Like at that point, she was she, hella stoic. Like, like that was her our first time seeing her with other people. But she was so stoic. Yeah. She's like, he was like, do you like spicy food? Yeah. What? I'm like, the food is very good. The food is very, yeah. the food is very good. Yeah, she never really, she you know what I mean? Like she couldn't express herself or some shit. Like she was numb so... damn near, and she just gained her warmth through the movie. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. At the beginning, like she literally was on some like, yeah, nigga, I'm just sitting here. I'm just sitting here. I'm just getting now. I'm shit. sitting outside. 
Yep. Now I'm sitting in the car and I'm it's, smoking. It's, it's nothing. Cold. Yeah, it was like literally no, <laughs> she never really no talked. Emotion. No dialogue, no nothing. nothing. And then she, you know, she came around. I think she's the goat in the movie. The baby driver? Mm-hmm. I really liked her character. I actually really liked her character too. Uh, I, for and me, she dropped her scar. That was cool. Yeah. She's my favorite. Do you have a favorite? Mm, it's literally tied between her and Kafka. I was really fucking with his character because I feel like. Mm-hmm. It, it was like I don't know he was taking a lot of L's yeah. but it was like because of the way his character was dealing with it I never felt like it was taking that big of an L till bro kind of broke down like and it got fucked everything up my damn self yeah. you know what I mean it was like damn she's cheating on this nigga and he's like alright let me just close the door and head on out and I'm like damn <laughs> well, you know? real talk, like, I feel like it showed that he never really deals with issues for sure yeah he never 100 confront- i knew that from that scene immediately yeah. i was like this dude ain't about competition at, at all oh yeah I was, and every weird. time when he met up with uh with the side dude yeah they ne- i'm like how has this happened this many times and they ain't right. clashed yet like and nothing was thrown and no angry words exchanged it was just like everything was everything it was that part was weird there's no way I know for myself, I'm not going to have that much self-control in the world. That's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> if I know, like, this is a side bitch, <laughs> like, are you kidding me? No, There's that no was way. weird. I that was weird. But I'm, yeah, they illustrated the character well. It was. Because for sure, like, yeah, in that mirror moment, it was obvious, yeah. like, okay, this nigga just, yeah. he's kind of a hoe. I didn't want to call him a hoe, but a it was whore, like, you know, you he, he's like a pushover. It was, yeah, that was like pitiful. So I, I felt. You said that was pitiful. It was, but it was cathartic when he actually broke down. I was like, finally, you got yeah, there's for something sure. there. Yeah, I like, I like this story arc, man. He, yeah. I don't know, he was dealing with a lot. Yeah, like. Plus the daughter death, I feel like that was the, just a whole oh, extra man. element to it all. That was just unfair. Unfair. And I mean, it was also like, yeah, how she was dealing with her grief too. Like you know, what I mean? it was. Mm-hmm. Just who, who fuck like, man, life is just crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was out here smashing everybody she, though. Like, cause we didn't even know that at first. <laughs> I thought it was just a one-time little spinoff. Nah. And I'm just like, dang, man, you gotta, you can't judge her all the way though. Just, but he's like, nigga, every time she does a production, she's smashing on new niggas. I was like, oh shit, shit bro, like this ran, been happening to your ass. Like, ran through, ran through. That's I was like, I was like, damn, there's nigga, nothing maybe it's sacred. An actor, nigga, maybe it's. I'm like, what maybe the it's right. fuck, bro? You a hoe. <laughs> you, you are a whore. This whole ma'am. relationship bent over, bro. You right. just need to face it. But he didn't want to. He was scared. Right. Oh, yeah. Because he, he was so saying he scared. didn't want to lose her. He's going to lose her. So he'd rather uh, just have an illusion just, of her. I know, huh? Ooh, that was, ooh, that was sad. He, right. Because he I was can... just driving with her, just talking to the fucking yeah. tapes. That's, uh. That's crazy. That is. Mm, mm, mm. She was snaky too. I won't lie. I mean, snaky is maybe not the right word, but she snaky. did just smash old dude and then was on the fucking Zoom like, "Hey, nigga, how are you?" <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my, real quick. Like. And you know what was wild too? The uh, the girl who speaks English and then the same side nigga. They're driving. <laughs> you see her driving and then the main dude looks over and he sees a side dude yeah, in the car. Yeah, bro, I was like, I'm like yo, he getting it in though. <laughs> but, Y'all, you can't even say it's the same language when you, everybody knows how to fuck. Yeah, and That's that was the crazy, crazy thing was like, yeah, bro kind of didn't even learn. In the film, he was kind of just doing the wrong thing the whole time. It's like, yeah. I feel like maybe he did learn his lesson in the end, but it was way too late by then. Nah, he, but he even did, he even admitted in the film he was like he says I'm like I'm empty like I don't feel anything mm, yeah, I feel yeah. nothing inside. We can see by your actions, sir. That is very true. Yeah, because he was just out here. Yeah, nigga took a picture. He just started wilding. Like nigga, why? <laughs> yeah, nigga, what the, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What? <laughs> Beat the crap out of my nigga. Like damn, nigga. Damn. I knew that was gonna be a problem the way they like did that scene too. I was like, oh, he about that. Yeah, for Ooh. sure. They the way they set But that I up. honestly thought like I didn't think he was gonna be arrested. I just thought I thought someone was just gonna be like pop out. Like I thought he was gonna die. <laughs> oh, he's gonna be, okay. Yeah, I, nope, like, he was, I thought sense. he was gonna yeah. run into the wrong one. 
And then just get God. Well, he did run into the wrong one. Or the wrong one. Dad. He was the wrong one. Yeah, <laughs> another nigga ran into him. And then justice was served. Yep. That was cold. I didn't want to see him go out like that. I started to like him. I know. I just, I was like, oh. Ooh, he, he had the feels. Mm. No, I started to like him. You know, I, I could see his flaws. Mm-hmm. I could see bro's flaws. And then he knew he had <laughs> right? them too. And it was like, okay. <laughs> right. But then. Yep. Then. Gotta serve your time. Yep, the habits be catching up. Man. And like the other people, honestly. Yeah. I don't even remember the rest of them. Like, they was there, but they wasn't even there. They were just accessories. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, honestly. <laughs> Whole rest of the cast was just, like, there. They were just there. It was, it was cute. Yeah. You know, those Running their lines and shit. Yeah, lines. they had the table. They just had the table. Do you like old girl who could speak the English? Uh, like, her character was kind of forgettable, but I, I thought she did a good job, too. I mean. I thought she was cute. I I really wish that they gave her a little bit more to work with. Honestly. The only thing... I felt like she shined when she talked about, we're not robots. And I was like, I thought she was going to have another, like, like a bigger moment, and it never got bigger than that. Yep, that was... <laughs> and I was like, oh, that was a highlight. All right, yeah, we're not robots. Okay. <laughs> I, I wish she had a little bit more. I don't know. But she was cute. She was good. And then I was like... Pretty much it, right? Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah. That was solid. I really liked the movie. I did too. You know, if it wasn't for the length, that, that probably, you know, I'm sorry, maybe the length wasn't even that bad. When I'm looking back on it, um, it's because it was so depressing. That's maybe, what, yeah. That's what it felt, I felt like. I was, felt so I was down there with them for a while after. Like, once we got to the snow zone, that's when I was really feeling like, I, man. <laughs> yo, like, I, t- I told you, I was like, you, like, you about to, you, it was like either you have to fall asleep or you just like, you was like sunk in the sunken place like God, the sunken uh, place no i won't lie i was getting a little bit tired but yeah. I, was, I was fighting through it they were sad though like they were sad and it was making me feel like mm. yeah you was like mm. <laughs> and i was waiting for an explosion or something to jump me back or i thought nope. they'd get in a car accident or something but nothing it was nothing just, you know, just depression yep get me, me driving deeper into the snow like, all right. So, I thought they were going to get stuck or something. Nope. Me too, but no. Hey, I did like when they had that uh, mute scene, though. I feel like that was like tranquility. <laughs> like, we've reached a new place. Oh, yeah, that was nice. Because yeah, that was after their little uh, it, admitting yeah. car scene. Like, yeah, then I killed my moms. Whatever. She I, mean, I killed, killed my mom. And I killed my wife. And it's silence. Yep. They admitted. No, first they came <laughs> out the tunnel. It was like noisy. Then they came out the tunnel. So and it was like, oh. You know, like, yo, we, we got a break. <laughs> yeah. We good. Yeah, that was wild. That was wild. Yep, the music, I don't know. I really, it was just like music in the background. I really, it was a lot of, honestly, I feel like there was a lot of times there wasn't any music in the background. <laughs> I don't know, it wasn't silent, but it was just like hard, heavy sound design. Yeah. And I I loved it like that, actually. So I feel like it was taking away if it was, if there was a If it was trying to like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it, it didn't really need a lot of music or same agree the story was strong it was solid definitely story was strong. i don't even know how long that movie was honestly how long was it no, I, uh, I couldn't tell you two hours is my guess i can see that my butt fell asleep but <laughs> a couple of well it's a movie theater that's part of the course yeah sure <laughs> <laughs> All right, so rate it. You should rate it. What's your, your, your? I guess you said ten out of ten at the top. I don't know if you still want to ride with that. No, but that was... I mean, I, was, I said the, I said the actors' performances. Were okay, 10 okay, out of 10. okay. So you get whole Overall... thing. Overall, uh, uh, I'll give it. I'll give it like a seven point five. Seven point five. She was a seven point five. Okay. I don't, I don't got my rating yet. I'm gonna give it a nine. A nine? Yep. A nine. Nine, nine twenty. Okay. It was just a length. That was the only part that got me. Mm-hmm. It was like it was getting, you know, it was getting a little bit long. But as far as the story, like, I felt all the emotions. I feel, I feel like it translated. What mm-hmm. they were going for translated. Mm, it did. Plus, we had the language barrier, and they still translated through that. So. It was beautiful. Like you know, now you know, so we'll probably sit on like a, a eight eight point five or something. I don't know, whatever we say on here. That's what the rating is. Yep. <laughs> so 
if you're on Spotify and you don't see the rating, then it's it's whatever's in the description. So yeah. And if you saw the movie and you want to let us know what you thought, you write that in the comments. And if you're on Apple Music, then you need to go to YouTube and then you need to write that in the comments. Okay. <laughs> so that was hindsight episode 12. We just saw Drive My Car. And we out. That was fun. Simple as that.